Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I come with peace. Please come. Hallelujah. Bring one more song. Let me get ready. <laughs> it's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for me. Nadat Adam God ook gewoond had, 
God came to the garden and spoke to him. Before that, he had spoken to the serpent and the woman. And let's read what he said to Adam. He said unto Adam, Adam, because you have hearkened unto the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. He put a column there, double full stop, up and down. It means something. He went out there, he continued and said, And in sorrow you shall eat of it all the days of your life. So that means man was cursed. When God created Adam, he was white as this. No blemish. And God placed him in his presence. And God placed him in his presence. And God blessed him. And God singed him. And said so many good things to our grandfather Adam. And he said he could also go to Adam. Adam. And he glorified Adam. And he and he believed in him. So Adam could thrive in God's presence. And this Adam could in God's presence. And he he kept on rising and rising and rising. Because he was clean and perfect. But he was proper and perfect. In God's presence. In God's amazingness. But Genesis chapter three says. But Genesis chapter three. Adam did not heed God's word. Zeg dat zeg dat God het woord van Adam het woord van God niet gehoord. And he disobeyed God in his own presence. And he ongehoord aan de God in zijn eigen amazingness. So you and I agree with me that. Dus we we zijn het akkoord met het feit dat. Sin is always depicted with darkness, right? Zonde is altijd voor een mooie zon duisternis. So I choose a common color that we all enjoy. Dus ik heb een Coca-Cola gekozen. So let's see if Adam will rise up. We gaan kijken of Adam zal oprijzen. So the more you sin, de hoe meer je zonde, the deeper you sink. So the deeper you sink. The world is no more rising up. The ball is not moving. It's resting underneath the glass. It lies beneath the glass. Why? Because sin has come in. Why? Because sin has come in. So when God cursed Adam, so when God Adam blessed him, you and I were in his loins. But but yeah, and I in the in the first. I mean, can I see from here better? Can you see better? Thank you. Thank you, Nicholas. So, the former st uh, uh, stage of Adam is the right ball here. Dus de eerste stage van het Adam zich bevond is de eerste klas hier. Adam is obedient brought about sin. En na Adam zijn we gehoord aan mij brought het sin binnen. And we all were in Adam. En wij allemaal waren in Adam. So when God is looking for us, he couldn't see us. But that means it's called sin disobedience, has engulfed all of us. But the darkness is the zone the blind people from all of our own ends. But don't we see this? For God so loved the world. But the Bible says in your heart that God to be on so lit. So if God loves you, He allows you to stay there. And just as God your life has that that has up to that your zone does. There was therefore a need for Him alone. And there was a need for Him alone. Take my heart of where He is. Om de man te nemen waar vanuit waar hij zich bevindt. En transformeren. En hem te transformeren. To this day. Tot tot je weer in deze staat is de eerste staat. So the third stage of man is this ball here. En nu de derde stadium van de mens is deze bal. You can see the color is blue and white. Je zult zien dat deze deze bal is wit en blauw. Because of the knowledge of good and evil. Door de kennis van goed en kwaad. The color has changed. 
Het kleur is veranderd. Het is niet meer zo veel wit zoals je eerst zag. Maar ik ben er wel al. Maar ondanks dit alles. God zei zonder mij kan de mens niks doen. God zei zonder mij kan de mens niks doen. Dus hij zelf zelf als een man. Dus God zelf kwam als een mens en hij veranderde zichzelf in een mens. In de persoon van Christus Jezus onze Heer. Hij bleef en daalde. Hij heeft gebloed en hij is gebleven. En hij heeft betaald voor wat jij hebt gedaan. Hij gaf ons zijn geest. En in plaats van alles. En ondanks alles. Je begint te rijden weer. We komen weer in de lezer. Zie je hoe meer dat je deel neemt aan de laatste avond van Christus? Dan meer dat je deel neemt aan de laatste avond van Christus. Dan meer dat je deel neemt aan de laatste avond van Christus. Dan meer dat je deel neemt aan de laatste avond van Christus. Hoe meer je van zijn bloed drinkt, the more you rise up. Hoe meer je van het oprijzen, from your dark days, van je donkere duistere stage, gaat je tot op het hoogste level. And I want you to tell what you have seen. En ik wil dat je alles wat je gezien hebt. Ja, alles wat je gezien hebt. By this experiment here. Door dit experiment. By this experiment. Tell them. Zeg hem dat. A man called Christ Jesus. That a man called Jesus Christ. He did not care where you were. It matters how you are, where you was. So why are you caring where you are? Why matters your age, where you are? Come and die with me next week. Come, come and come and marry me in the morning. Or next month. Or in the month. So that you rise up. So that you will not be at the end of your life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This is the introduction. Let's get deeper to the Bible. Can somebody help me with this? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Dickness. May God bless you, Dickness. Opportunity. And children of God. I'm so glad that I'm here today. I'm so glad that you keep on coming back. Because it's not everywhere that the pastor will ask you to come to my district and do something there. Want it to be so hard that the pastor will not like to not get the trip to come and it's that to do. But thank God he gave a pastor to us that we can share the word across. And we thank the Lord that he has given us the pastor to come from the court to his table. Amen. Amen. The theme of today's message is. The theme of the broadcast of our life is. Grace brings you to table. Genade roept jou om te tafelen. Grace calls you to table. Genade roept jou om te tafelen. We are going to read a story about a young man in the book of Second Samuel. We gaan een verhaal lezen over een jonge man in het boek van het tweede boek van Samuel. Hoofd van negen. Vers negen. Verses one to thirteen. Vers één tot veertien. Veertien vers. Veertien vers. Amen. Amen. Is somebody there? Or because of time, I can rise to it and read. Is there anyone that has this? If you are there, please can you stand up and read with us, please? I should have met you on the big box and the whole season. You want? Okay, then I read because of time. Okay, it's from here, sir. Now, now, did he say, "A yes to anyone who is left in the house of"? So that I may show you kindness for Jonathan's sake. And there was a servant of the house of Saul whose name was Ziba. I want to take name of take note of every name that we mention, but the names are very important. We're going to talk about it. And there was a servant in the house of Saul whose name was whose name was. So when they, they have called him to David. The king said to him, "Are you Ziba?" He said, "At your service." Then the king said, "Is there not still someone in the house of Saul?" Say Saul, 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 to whom I may show kindness of God. And Ziba said to the king, "There is still a son of Jonathan who is laid at his feet." He did not mention his name. He used his qualification to. Say something about him. Just from this moment, that he saw, is he not a person? Verse four. So the king said to him, "Where is he?" And Ziba said to the king, 
Indeed, he is the half of Machael. Say Machael. The son of Amiel. Say Amiel. In Lodipa. Say Lodipa. So we have Machael, we have Amiel, and we have Lodipa. The king, the king David sent and brought him out of the house of Machael, the son of Amiel, from Lodipa. Now, when the people said, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, had come to David, he fell on his face and prostrated himself. Then David said, Mephibosheth. See after me, Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth. And he answered, Here is your servant. So David said to him, Do not fear. For I will surely show you kindness for Jonathan, your father's sake. And I will restore to you all the lands of your of, um, all the land of Saul, your grandfather. And you shall eat bread at my table continually. Verse 8. Then he bowed himself and said, Where is your servant that you should look upon such a dead dog? As I. And King, King, uh, sorry, and the king called Ziba, saw Sebat and said to him, I have given to your master's son all that belongs to Saul and to all his house. You therefore, your sons, and your sons and your servants shall work the land for him, and you shall bring in the harvest that your master's son may eat. Uh, May have food to eat. But my football said, Your master's son shall eat bread at my table always. First it was continually, and now it's always. Now Ziba had 15 sons and 20 servants. And Ziba said to the king, According to all that the Lord the king has commanded his servant, so will your servant do. As for my people said, said the king, he shall eat at my table like one of my sons. He has said this one for the third time. Mm. Mephibosheth had a young son. His name was Micah. And all who dwelt in the house of Ziba were servants of Mephibosheth. So Mephibosheth dwelt in Jerusalem, for he ate continually at the king's table. And the last sentence was, and he was laid. Amen. Amen. We need to this because of time. We are going to do what we call expository sermon. We are going to expose it. You must say that it is an Old Testament story. What has that to do with the Lord's Supper in the New Testament? Now, the name of David means loving or lovely. I'm, I'm talking about the second um, slide, the name and the characters in the video. And Jonathan means Jehovah has given. And Jonathan the deacon is what Jehovah has given. Saul means to inquire or to request. Saul is the deacon to eat to black. But you will say it means repair of shame. It means you will say that he must be a scatter. Machia means salesman. Amiel means people of God. Amiel means from God. Ziba means station, stature or strong. Ziba means a staff or a wheel. And there are two places mentioned in the, in the story. The first, name, the first place was Jerusalem, where David was living. And there are two places in the story, is Jerusalem. Jerusalem means city of peace. And the last place where the people said was Lodiba is a place of nothingness. And the last place where the people said they were born is and then we take it to a place, a place for next. A place where there is nothing, no pasture. A place where there is nothing, no pasture. Now, because of time, let me speak up a bit. There was war in which Saul died. There was war in which Saul died. And uh, those days, if a new king comes in, to annihilate all the family members and everybody that belongs to the royal house. And then take all the family and even into 
money can do that, you know, do all of that. Good. Now, in fear of this, the next of the people said, pick them up. And just do the angst, uh, do all that. The, 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 the nurse, the baby from the Mifibo said was angstig. And after my Mifibo said, pop the house. And so. Or made to look In the low front, it's tight. It's a hard way to farm. Okay, so Mifibo said, the nurse of Mifibo said, picked him up. She tried to flee and mm -hmm. they fell both on the ground. And then Mifibo said, what day? As far as I know, if a child falls down. And as the kid falls, I mean, a girl can get bruised now. But the point whereby the waist is disconnected and called paralysis is not useful. I mean, you can fall from the third floor to, I mean, you can fall from the third floor to deep in power. That's what I can understand. But you pick up my child and you won't fail. And the child becomes. I mean, paralyzed for the rest of his life. And the kid will laugh for the rest of his life. In our children, when we see the visit, it's in the mind, it's in the mind. It's in the mind. It's in the mind. But God was preparing this thing for the future. But God was preparing this thing for the future. Let me remind the children to the Garden of Eden. Let me remind the children to the Garden of Eden. The next at that time was Eve. The 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 prince girl. Yeah. The slave. The father of Adam. The the father of Adam. The man. So. If we were all in Eve, so when Eve fell, when Eve fell, we all became crazy. That's where it started from. So in the history of the history of Israel, in the history of Israel, if we were all in Eve, 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 if we were all that was it. That was it. Now, let's move on further. Let's start with that, yeah? So, when the nurse took him, he brought him all the way to the place called Gilead. In Gilead, also, he searched among the donkeys, the villages. And in Gilead, something just to the doctor. He found no place to bring him. And so, what he had to pass him to bring him. And the place he called Lord Jibar. Lonely part is of two words. The first L O is the negative. Meaning not. The bar means communication. If you make a bar with yourself, we will never get you. Because there is no connection. There is no connection. There is no even a road linking from the village to that village. Everything is cut off. So you imagine you are worthless. And you are nothing. You are next. And we brought you to a place of nothingness. And you begin to become like the whole life was so called the cold and rain just now. Nobody can even see from a distance. So the people said it was off. Now the king was in power. The name of the king is David. Meaning we love him. And the love that's not retaliated. And the love that is not retaliated. That must be retaliated. He loved people so much that even his enemies he loved them. He said, "Is no one even in the house of that person as I showed him God's kindness?" And he said, "Is no one in the house of that person as I showed him God's kindness?" I do for you, you do for me. If you don't do for me, bye bye. But this man has God's kindness. We got an agape kind of kindness. And Ziba said, the woman of Ziba is strong, stacy. Because he is stacy. You as servant, you have 15 kids. We have 20 servants. Seven him the servants. So if we the royalties, we don't get out from where we are sitting. And next day, the master will get out. 
his good place. Not in the ordinary house, but in the palace. When the table is set, it's not your daughter's inviting you. It's not your basic pastor inviting you. It's the king of the Lord of God. He has invited you from your Lord Diva, from your sweet chapter to begin at night. You tell you wake up, you see that tears are born here. Tears are dead. You are in your Lord Diva, I tell you. So tell your Lord Diva story. And come and come with you. And if you are a 
the only thing that in Pentecost we say we should make is after baptism. Right? right? Besides that one, with humility, you know you are a Christian. Don't look at your carefulness and say, how can Jesus does not do that. By you yourself, examine yourself, and you know, am I in Christ? Dat is de taak voor jou aan het roepen. Dank u. 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 But that's why that he said, come and die with me. Today, what hinders you? I know that people say, he threw away his crosses and his crown. He threw away his crown and he came to the king. So, if I were you, I would have any doubt. Everything from us and talks from friends beside you. Ik leg het aan de boven van de kiezen. Laat het verzeden en ga naar de tafel van de koning. Laat me rijst staan. Ik hou mensen te helpen. Ik hou de hand aan om mij te helpen. En als je deze song kunt zingen, waarom moet je je hart niet aan de gaten van de Lord? Als je dit liedje kan, kun je niet aan je hart niet aan de gaten van de Lord. So let me know the song crazy you can raise it up.
quiet for me. And as you see that, please, bow down your heads, you are going to pray. First of, all, first of all, I want you to thank God that He has opened your eyes to a new revelation of His calling. Thank God, somebody, thank God. But as you we thank you, we bless you, we honor you. Every day your word is becoming new and new. The things you have heard before they come, you lose you not what? And through it, you have let us see that yes, in spite of all our shortcomings, in spite of what we were, in spite of our condition of heart, you thought have seen it from afar. You have shown us your loving kindness. So that we are thank you for such a word you have spoken to my heart. I thank you for such a transformation. I thank you for, for such a change. Lord, today I bless your name. Father, I bless your name.
the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.